Some of you may recognize this spongy moth caterpillar, originally the gypsy moth until it was renamed. Well, tonight I found one that has woven a loose cocoon on my house, pupa visible, and decided to take it in and give you a little insider's view. We recently had many of them around on every bush and tree imaginable, yet never saw any signs of the mass defoliation that has been reported. Here you can see the shed skin from the caterpillar still attached to the pupa. It is reported that the hairs can irritate some people, but I have not found this to be the case. A few weeks later, here is the really cute adult moth. I think many people have no idea what they look like, and let me try to show you a little bit of the underwing. There you go. They're really calm, and for a smaller size moth, they don't mind being displayed at all. This is a female. The males are a darker brown, making them easy to tell apart. So while I show off her cuteness, let's talk about the history that you may not know. The spongy moth, like most species now considered invasive, is our own fault. In the 19th century, a lepidopterist from Massachusetts brought the moth here with the intent of finding a species of silk-producing moth that could be bred to compete with the silkworm moth and not be subject to the many diseases that the silkworm moth suffered. This gentleman was cultivating about a million larvae in his house, and some adults escaped. The rest is history. Sadly, all the measures humans have employed trying to eradicate a species we accidentally introduced has severely affected our native and beneficial moths and butterflies. As the biological controls affect them as well, and the parasitic flies and wasps do not discriminate between good and bad caterpillars. So like all things, moderation is key, and I think the spongy moth will always be among us and have its own place to be appreciated despite its bad reputation. So I hope this may soften the general dislike of these interesting creatures. I have one more waiting to emerge, and if it is a male, I will certainly let you all have a look at it. So until next time.